anyway, this is the next archer. And what you're looking at is what I've gone through, or the knives that I've gone through, to find the best everyday carry knife. I'm not going to say that this is the best everyday carry knife, um, but I use this one and this one on and off. But I'll explain my thoughts um, going through my everyday carry phases and tell you why I picked each one. Um, so, my first knife or my first good knife that I carried daily, was this um, Benchmade Mini Nitro Striker. I'd actually um, had been looking for a first good knife, had found some type of list on the internet of good brands, liked the name Benchmade, looked it up, um, looked in their catalog and found this. Looked awesome. So I bought it. Um, carried it, maybe used it once to open up a letter, and uh, ended up buying, um, I believe it was the, actually the Griptelian next, the Benchmade Mini Griptelian, um, for an everyday carry blade. I saw it on eBay, I had been thinking, the longest length I can carry is 3 inches in Kentucky, is what I had thought at the time, it's incorrect. Um, but, so I was like, I have to stay under three inches, like I had done with, the uh, Mini Nitro Striker. So, I bought the Mini Griptelian. Didn't really want serrations, but I got them anyways, because it was cheaper. Um, great knife that I'd carried a long time. Later on that Christmas, I had watched a bunch of reviews and asked my mom or parents to get me the Delica 4 for Christmas, and that's what I got. Carried that, and the bench made mini Griptelian on and off, depending on what I had felt like. Later on, I was at a gun and knife show, I believe down in Florida, actually, and I had learned that the knife carry laws in Kentucky, it doesn't say at length, so I was like, I'm going to get a big knife. Um, I had actually seen this used, it was like $35, um, I got the blade replaced, but I was like, yeah. So I carried this for a very long time, probably for six months, um, and I was exchanging these two occasionally, depending on how much I was going to be using the knife. I used these more because I, I kind of wanted to keep this blade in good condition. As you can see, it's in very good condition. Later on, I had been watching some knife reviews, wanted to get into a little more expensive knife, and had seen the Paramilitary 2. This was when the Paramilitary 2 was just, not just coming out, but it was about two months after it had come out. I'd really wanted it. Saw it on uh, cutleryshop.com. Had watched probably 30 reviews of it. People saying that it was one of the best everyday carry knives in the world. And um, so I bought it. $91. I still remember the price. That's the first time I paid full price for a pocket knife. Um, because for all these, while well, I'd gotten that as a gift, paid 50 42 got gift, 35 And then I paid 91 for this, which... Kind of crazy at the time, but definitely my most used knife. I um, loved the size, felt great in the hand, and was perfect. Great blade length. Um, this Christmas, actually, I had asked for the Endura 4 with Emerson Wave. Kind of wanted to try out the Emerson Wave. I had um, the Emerson Wave for the Rescue, the Sparco Rescue Wave. And it flipped open really nicely, and just wanted to try it. Wanted a longer blade again, but just, it was a fun blade to flip out and impress friends with, but not a great everyday carry blade. So I ended up using, going back to the paramilitary too. After a while, um, I was actually carrying the paramilitary too, and I, I was wanting to get the Zero Tolerance 550. Um, got this probably 
month and a half ago, maybe a month ago, and got this at a gun show, as most of you know. Love it. I figured that's the perfect blade shape. I had actually seen it at Smoky Mountain Knife Works in Tennessee. Love the feel of it. Love the blade, the length of it, 3.5 inches, kind of like the Spire Code Paramilitary 2. I wanted something very similar to it. G10 frame lock. Loved it. It is heavy, but I have a great belt system, so I don't feel any of the weight on me. So it's not pulling down my pants or anything. Um, and that's really what I like. I like, after all the everyday carry things, 3 inches is too small, 4 inches is too big, 3.5 is the perfect blade length for me. And then I usually carry people-friendly knives, the case. So, because 3.5 inch blades can kind of scare people, especially something like that. I've been told a couple of times that this knife is a beast, or a machete. So, there you go. I'll see you guys later. That, um, what is your preferred everyday carry size knife? See you guys later.